in this temple, there are doors that fall down. I hate those things. I hate those things. And you can use the special crop, which of course is bombs, but you can also use the hammer to break them, which I... And that's how I knew to use the hammer on them. Or that you could use the hammer on them. I think you can use the hammer on them. I'm not even totally sure about that, but... Pretty sure. Reasonably sure. I would say about 75%. But, uh, I think I've said this before, but in the words of Samuel L. Jackson, that's not really certain at all, is it? 75% certain? Is not certain at all. Okay, let's go in this door. This door always confused me, because it seems like you go straight across, you'd come out on the other side of that building, which was just extending outward from the thing, but no, you actually come on the other side of a, a bigger picture, so to speak. I know that didn't make any sense, but... Uh, there we go. This is just the map, you don't have to get it, but I'm gonna get it just because it's part of the whole routine and everything. So, hello! take this opportunity to have a drink. You found the dungeon map. whoop de doo Now, what's the next course of action? We have to get, um... We actually have to get to the outside of that room. And it's pretty simple, actually. You just go out here and, and go in this other door. And don't fall. That big room that I was in earlier with the bridge going across it, well, that's where I would end up right now if I fell off of there, so... You probably don't want to fall. I usually just skip this and go over here. Screw it. There's a jump over here where you're probably going to want to stay to the left or else this thing comes out and hits you. It's, like, really annoying. Because he'll hit you, and then the firewall that's coming from behind will hit you. So it's kind of two for one. Anyway, here we go. And that'll put us on the second floor of this little area, so now we can go ahead and do the stuff we need to do here, which includes bombing that. Excuse me. Pardon me. You got anything good for me, as far as droppings go? Let's try this right here. And this will open the Gorin that's on the second floor of this uh, perturbing little area, so now we just gotta work our way over there. Uh, da, da, da. I have a way that I like to... Yeah, here we go. And then to the right from here. Ugh, don't fall, for the love of crap. Here we go. And you don't burn me. I don't want to be burned. I don't like catching fire. What's this guy got to say? Yes, tell me a secret before you leave. If you find a place that you can see on the map, but can't reach, try playing your ocarina. Ah... Now, what I haven't mentioned yet is that I've actually done a practice run of this temple before I uh, recorded, so, um... Oh, you are going to catch me. I don't know, you're not. Um, it actually turns out that, you know, when I finished the temple, I noticed a lot of places on the map, big places, that I hadn't been to, even though I'd pretty much cleared the temple. Um, and the key to reaching those places actually lies in this room here, so it's interesting that he says that in this room, because this is the room where you have to do it. First, I think I'm going to actually go down here, because we got something we need to get down here. What do we need to get? Oh, okay, this just goes back to that other room. Yeah, that's annoying. At least we don't have to worry about that room anymore. I'm going to take your key before I talk to you. Did I hurt your feelings? Well, alright, what? What do you want? Are you releasing me? Here's a tip, then. Somewhere in this temple, you're sure to meet up with some creatures that dance as they attack. Arrows won't hurt them. Looks like you might need some of the Gorn special crop. That's all I have to tell you. Okay, get out of here with your belly button. <sighs> okay, that's all we needed in there. So let's go back up the ladder, rather than taking the long way around here. Climb, 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 climb. Yeah, as far as Majora's Mask goes, I only got, like, maybe five hours into I just barely got out of the town, and then I... I guess I just forgot what I was doing, because I didn't really do anything after that. Ugh, I hate that thing. Stay out of my way, and I'll stay out of yours, and we'll both be good. Okay, so before you go in this door now, there's actually, um... Let me... If you actually look up here, there's a column right there, and Navi will fly up to it. Well, 
Turns out if you pull out your ocarina and play your scarecrow song, you will get a little help from Pierre. Pierre. And he will be the key to reaching those inaccessible, or seemingly inaccessible areas in this temple. So, I'm gonna grab your hat. There's not a lot of room up here. You think you could go away? Oh, well, that's okay. Well, let's get over here. And make sure you stay, don't don't walk around too much after you get on top of the elevator or you just fall back off of it again. And this will take you to this room. Now, where are we now? I believe we're on the third floor, maybe the fourth. I'm not sure, but let's just climb up the thing here. Ah, and would you know, there's a Skulltula here. Oops. Alright, and this is not a room that a lot of people ever go to or figure out about, I think. Because most people that I've told about this room, they're like, what are you talking about? So, I'm kind of excited to show this to you. I mean, I'm guessing most of you probably knew about it already. Before we do anything else, there's actually a Skulltula right here. Two of the Skulltulas in this temple are accessed by way of this hidden area, which makes it very practical. Now, this room is pretty much just like a room that you'll be seeing later on. You step on a switch early in the room, and it goes up to the top of the room and opens up a treasure chest. That treasure chest has 200 rupees in it. I'm not messing with it. Oh, uh, <laughs> no, seriously, I'm not. Uh, uh, it's just not worth the hassle. I actually think that one's harder to get than the other one because of just, it's just such a long way up and you slide down the hills as you're trying to go up to it. So, don't really want that. Anyway. Oh, thank god I landed on a block. Man, that would have been so sucky if I hadn't. Where the heck am I? Let me get back out here and get some perspective here. That's what I thought. I didn't see the door over there, though. Hey! You want to say that to my face? That's alright. That's what I thought. Alright, let's go. Let's see what we got. Okay, we're back in this room again, but now there's actually somewhere... Oh, okay, I guess the fire's gonna chase us the other way. Well, that works out for the best, because as we're going the other way, there's a locked door here. And a seemingly impossible jump that's actually doable. Now we can finally start progressing in the temple. I'd say we're probably about three-fifths of the way done with it now. So The thing is, then you got these huge rooms like this right here. This room right here. One of the most memorable rooms in the temple. And this, by the way, is the pillar that you have to knock down. You can't quite get to it now, but it doesn't matter because we don't have the resources to hit it anyway. Here's one of those fake doors. Try to open it. Oops! Sorry. Okay. Well, I'm not going to waste a bomb on that. It's not worth it, so... Well, wait a minute. If I can remember my way through here. Oh, man, I thought I had it for a second. There's one more pull up. There we go. And where are we at now? Okay, this room right here. There's one more Gorin in here, but you can't really get to him yet. Oh, look at him. He's scared. Okay, well you can play the Song of Time and actually get up on these ledges up here and that's where the switch is that opens. It's on one of those ledges. But you can't actually hit the switch because it's rusted over. Fortunately, the item that we get in this temple will take care of that issue. Whoa. Well. Okay, just walk around the other side of this then. Whoa! Ah! Do I have to hit every single one of those? I didn't hit those half as much in my practice run. Jeez. Well, the problem is now I'm getting too cocky about knowing which way to go, which apparently I don't. <laughs> okay, let's head up this way. These pots are so much easier to smash with the Gorn Sword. Because, you know, with the Master Sword, he, like, swings it right over them, but with the Gorn Sword, you just kind of plow through them. This is another fake door here, so we're going to bomb this out. <laughs> Man, just blew the whole wall apart, not just the door. Oh, check it out. It's, uh, 